The first thing I wanna show you with this question is that there are gonna be more questions on the next slide. There will be these, okay, so there's the, this question, these three, and then these two, okay? I do apologize for all these little symbols in the background. That's just from Stanmore Physics, and they put these weird embedded images on the picture. This question says, half a trillion cups of coffee are consumed per year throughout the world. European coffee drinkers consume most of the coffee produced and the Americans are second. Refer to the graphic representation on Annexure C, which is this one over here, which displays the percentage. Okay, so if you look carefully at the bottom here, we've got females, males, and all. And then what else have they given us? Oh, these are the times. Time slots, geez, like a lot of people are waking us in early over there. Um, six till nine, nine till 12, 12 till three, three till six, six till nine, nine till midnight, and then midnight until three o'clock. Okay, so it says, this first question, which of the following options, X, Y, or Z, best describes the data process that was performed before the representation could be drawn? Write down only letter X, Y, or Z. Okay, so obviously if they want to find out who drinks coffee, they would have to go to people and um, the first step is they would have to go walk into coffee shops and, or no, don't only walk into coffee shops because everyone will say they love coffee, but you'd have to walk around randomly and you'd have to do a survey, okay? That's usually what you would do first. Then people would tell you how much coffee they drink and blah de blah de blah What you would then have to do is take all of that information and summarize it or you could even say, organize it. Once you've summarized and organized it, then you can draw it. So they said, which of the following describes the process that was performed before you could draw it? And so you would say either this one or this one. And so I checked on the memo and both of these are actually taken as correct, X or Z. Of course, we also pose a question. We also say, um, do you like coffee or when do you drink coffee? But that comes very early on. They want to know what happens just before you can draw this graph. Okay. Now, this question says, can the data be collected? Sorry, can the data collected be classified as numerical or categorical? Well, you see how they've got these different categories, like they're grouping them into female, males, all. So they're just seeing which category they fit into. And then they're also asking them, do, they, do, you, do you drink coffee in this category, this category, this category, this category, and so on and so forth. So this is gonna be categorical. If this data was collected using a questionnaire, list three possible questions that could have been asked. Okay, well, let's say it's a questionnaire that you just, you, you don't, you, you just leave it somewhere and people can pick up the questionnaire and they can answer it themselves. So your first thing you could ask is, um, are you female or male? So number one, um, are, are you female or male? The next thing you could ask is, in which times do you drink coffee and then you could maybe give them some check boxes where they can choose which of these they find themselves in okay and then i guess we could also just ask them do you drink coffee do you drink coffee we probably could have asked them that right in the beginning do you drink coffee okay then this question say where are we we are we've done this one and this one describe the trend of coffee intake for males in comparison to females over a 24 hour period. Okay, so remember that males are, okay, well females, um, oh, this key isn't really nice. Okay, so females is gonna be these white ones. That's females, okay. And then I'll make it a little bit better for us. So females are gonna be yellow. Then males will be the other one. And then we don't need to look at the total. We're just comparing males and females. Okay, so it says describe the general trend of coffee intake for males in comparison to females. Okay, so I mean, over here we can see that the females are less, 
here the females are more. Here the females are more, here the females are more, here the females are more, here the males are more, males are more. Okay, so we can just say exactly that. We can say, we can say, um, okay, wait, so this was from three until six. So, okay, we can definitely see that the females are more here, here. So we can say from hmm, from here to here, so from 6 in the morning until 6 p.m., the females drink more coffee. So from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., females drink more coffee. And then you could say, for example, before 6, 6 a.m., it is the males that drink more coffee, okay? So before 6 a.m., males drink more coffee. And then you could even add after 6 p.m., the males are also drinking more coffee, okay? But for three marks, you only have to choose, um, I see on the memo they only chose two of those things. So they chose the big one that I spoke about over here, and then you could mention this one as well, or you could mention that one, or you could mention all of it, and that would also be fine. Okay, explain with justification whether the data pre presented is discrete or continuous. Okay, well, I've mentioned this in a previous video before. Discrete is data can be um, counted. Continuous is when you can measure. So continuous is measured. So if you are if you are asking people um, if they drink coffee, that's you can count that. You can say that there were seven females who drank coffee and three males who drank coffee. So that's something that you can count. Measuring is when you like, for example, um, if you you measured exactly how much coffee they drank, like 77 milliliters, or if you measure how, high, how tall someone is, or um, you know, then you can get different values like 171.6 centimeters or 172.3 centimeters. Those are things that you measure. But when you're just counting how many people drink coffee, that is just counting. And so it will be discrete. And then we can just say something like um, the number of coffee drinkers can be counted. Okay, here's the last one for this one. It says, the data represented in the graph on Annexure C comes from one specialized coffee brand in America. The survey was done while the customers waited for their coffee. Explain if this data is biased or valid for the whole world. So this is definitely going to be biased because it says here, um, they trying to, well, well, first of all, this is not going to be reflective of the entire world because they're only doing this in America. So it will be biased. It, you can't say that this is how it will be for the entire world. It might only be like that for American people, and it might only be like that for American people who drink this specific type of coffee brand. So we'll say here that it is biased. Study was only done in America, which is not reflective of the entire world. We can also say that only one brand was used.